Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Nikki Fox and in today's makeup tutorial I will be doing a transgender inspired makeup look. So the transgendered flag, um, it uses the colors blue, white, and pink. So on one eye I'm going to do a blue eyeshadow and the other eye I'm going to do a pink eyeshadow and somehow incorporate white or like silver sparkle just to have the white in there. Um, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. So to start off this makeup look, I am again going to be going into this Cara Beauty. This is the Beach Days palette. Oh my god, I just seen some shit fall out of it. So I'm gonna take the blues in here. I'm gonna start off with Catch Me. It's just like this iconic blue shade here. And I'm just going to throw that in the crease of my left eye only. I'm just going to take it and throw it in the crease. I'm just going to keep blending. Because blue can be like really harsh. So you just want to blend that boy out and I'm kind of gonna like drag it out like this if that makes sense but I'm gonna take a clean blending blending brush to do that and this is just the BH Cosmetics Style 101. I'm just gonna like buffer that into my skin. So I'm gonna go back into that palette and I'm going to go into the color Snorkel, which is just another blue. And I'm going to go over the Catch Me color. I'm just going to like place it everywhere on the lid. But I'm really going to like go into my palette and get that blue everywhere. There's a shade called Set Me Free. It's just like a darker blue. I'm gonna go ahead and go into that and put that in the outer corner of my eye. And I'm gonna head and take my, oh, this is a Zodiac style brush in 101. Oh, I just grabbed the wrong brush and there was purple on it. Well, Just gonna go ahead and fix that and try and smudge that purple out of there because we don't want it in with the blue. I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend. You can kind of see that it's kind of dark here. I got purple in there, but that's okay because we're gonna go over it with more blue. And I'm going to go 
back into that blue and just kind of like blend this in some more. All right, so once that's done, I'm gonna go back into, I'm gonna take my packing brush. And this is the Chillin' in Chicago brush number two. And I'm gonna go back into Snorkel. I'm just gonna put that everywhere on my lid. Just like that and I already did my base foundation and stuff so I don't need to worry about that but I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the shade snorkel and put that all over my under eye and just put that on the lower corner. And I'm really gonna dive into that because I am going for a dramatic look. So while this eye is chilling, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other eye with the pinks. And I'm gonna grab one of my pink blending brushes. This is a Chillin' in Chicago brush in number four from BH Cosmetics. And I'm gonna take the shade Mimosa right here. And I'm gonna put that all over this eye. Because it's such a light pink, I'm just gonna like quickly blend it because the darker pink's gonna go over top. Like so. Now I'm gonna take the Sunrise. It's like a hot pink in the same palette. And I'm gonna go over the light pink. And I'm just gonna drag it out the same thing I did to the other eye. I'm gonna take that blending brush. And just blend it. Like that. Now I'm gonna go back into the Beach Days palette and go into that pink again. And just continue to blend it in. Oh, this is really bright. I'm gonna put that shade all over my eyelid. So actually I did this look the other day and it turned out so good. So I decided to recreate it for you guys. And if you didn't know, I am trans. I have come out as trans since I was like 18 and I'm now 25. So I've been living my best life. And I accept all races, all genders, all sexualities on my platform. So anyone's welcome here. So once that's done, I'm going to 
take this brush. I don't know where it's from, but it's Eye Brush C's. Oh, it's from e.l.f. I've had it for years. And I'm going to take the Sunrise Pink color that I use and put that under my eye. And this palette is so pigmented. Like a little honestly goes a long way. And I'm gonna go into this like light shade called Mimosa. And I am going to dig into that palette. And again like blend this on the underneath. And what I love about this follow is I already did my base foundation and there's a zero fallout. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my BH Cosmetics Digital Future 16 color eyeshadow palette and it's actually so good. Looks like this. Oh, holy grail. I'm gonna take a new blending brush and go into, there's no names, but I'm just gonna go into the shade here. And I'm gonna put that under my brow because it's really matte and pigmented, so it's really gonna blend. You'll see. What I've done. See, look at that, how that goes on. forget a brow concealer like grab this palette like that and I'm gonna just go ahead and do the same thing to the other side it just kind of cleans it up a little bit so is my light burning out again to go into the Cura Beauty Summer Stunner Palette. I used this in my previous videos and they are my go-to palettes right now. I'm just going to go into this Mahi Mahi Sparkle and I'm just going to put this all over my left, the blue eyelid, sorry, my left eyelid. And I'm gonna make it drip drip with this Bare Minerals. Bare Minerals Face Mist. And it actually just collects the product. Can you see that? On the brush. And I'm just gonna put that everywhere on my lid. So And I'm just gonna it kind of looks a little clownish, but it's all gonna float together in the end like I want to do this for like a pride parade or something because this would be so cool not that we're gonna have a parade anytime soon because the world is crazy right now but I'm going to go ahead and go into my summer stunna palette wait I'm gonna apply some more actually because why not I love, love, love these palettes, but I got some sparkle in my eye the other day. I couldn't get it out. It was a pain in the arse. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go into the Summer Vibe Shimmer. It just looks like that. 
and I'm gonna put that all over the pink side because it's got like purple pink shimmers in it so it's gonna look so good you know the vibes Loves it. Loves that for me. Okay, so should I put this on my under eye too? It's looking a little plain down there. I'll figure that out after. So now I'm going to go into my Digital Future palette and I'm going to take these two shades here and the blue side I'm going to do the blue corner, the pink side I'm going to do the pink corner and then it just allows like this highlight. I really want that highlighted look. So again, Bare Minerals, little sample spray. I'm just going to spray my brush. I'm going to go into the pink first. And I'm just going to... Look at that. Look at that glow. So beautiful. So there is one eye compared to the other. I know they're two separate colors, but you kind of get the jiffy. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye, but with the opposite color. This one's not really as shiny, so I'm just going to bear minerals, spray the brush, tap, 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 and apply. Okay, there we go, there we go. Definitely suggest wetting your brush with something. And then there's the second one. And I kind of want to put this on my brow bone just to be extra. So I'm going to take the blue and just put it on the outer. Oh my god, it's so holographic. Can you see it? I'm going to do the same thing on the other side with the pink. Oh my god, yes. Yes. So, now once that is done, I am going to... I kind of want to jazz it up a little bit, and I'm going to take this Sephora glitter this little Sephora glitter I don't know if you can see that but and I'm going to apply some of it on top of the glitter that I already used oh my god how do I open that Like a little salt and pepper shaker. Oh, it all just poured out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my packing brush again and chilling in Chicago. This is brush number two. I'm gonna wet it. And I'm just going to apply this Sephora glitter all over my lid. There, like that. And the same thing to the other side. 
I didn't do this the first look I did, but I definitely should have because this is thickening. So now I am going to go ahead and do my brows. I'm just going to take my brow brush and comb through them quickly. Same to the other side. I'm going to take my Mixed Metals palette, which is something I always use when I'm doing my brows, in the shade Risky. And I'm going to do the other brow real quick. You guys, I'm almost at 100 subscribers. I'm at like nine subscribers away. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because it means the world to me. Thank you. So now once my brows are quickly done, I'm going to go ahead and take my NARS Climax Extreme Mascara and I'm going to put that on both of my um, eyes. I have to be so quiet for this. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I am almost done. I kind of, I don't think I'll do lashes, but I probably should. So I got the mascara on and I might as well do lashes. So I'm just going to take my BH Cosmetics and style D301. They look like this. And every every lash pack um, comes with a little lash glue. And I have so many of those little glue sticks kicking around, which is dope because some people forget the buy lash glue. It's so small, but it looks like this. And I have like six of those, which is nice because Sometimes I forget to buy lash glue. And it's super convenient just to have them kicking around. And I'm just going to take my True Fiction Pro Lash Glue. Squirt some of that bad boy out. And apply it to my lash. The lash band, not my eyelashes itself. And I just put the glue on the tip of my brush and then I put the glue on the strip of the lash. Now that's going to sit and dry for a few seconds, like 30 seconds to a minute. So while that's doing its thing, I'm going to go ahead and contour. Where's my contour brush? My table's a mess. There it is. I'm gonna take this BH Chocolate Marshmallow Truffle Palette in shade, oh, 
chocolate marshmallow. And shake chocolate marshmallow. I'm gonna take this one here and this one and mix the two. And I'm gonna blend like circle wise going towards my brow, not towards my chin. I'm gonna hit my forehead. So, and then I'm gonna snatch my nose real quick. Also, if you're wondering about all the products that I use, I list them all in the description box down below so you can check them out if you'd like. So once that's done, I'm just gonna take my lashes that have been sitting here and drying and apply them real quick. For some reason, it's not wanting to stick. So I'm just gonna put some more glue on there it's not sticking, guys. Alright, so I'm going to try applying this lash now. Like so, and you might see some glue there, but the white glue dries clear. You can also get lash glue in black, but when you don't wear eyeliner, there's like a black smudge there, and it doesn't look good in my opinion, because it dries black. So I always try My Starbucks fell. I always try and get glue that's white. I'm just a hot mess today. My lights don't work. My light burnt out, Starbucks is falling, my table is a mess. Alright, what do I do now? So now I'm going to add some blush and I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics Naughty Palette. And this isn't a, like made for blush or anything, it's made for eyeshadow. But you can do anything with makeup, so that's what I'm using it for. I'm gonna take this color called Frosting and I'm just going to, there's so much fallout in this palette, it's ridiculous, blow the excess off and like, I'm not even gonna be shy about it, I'm just gonna like plop that bad boy on there. Alright, so now I'm going to take the same palette and use the shade called Snow Day. It's like this really pigmented matte shade that can be used as a highlighter. And I hate highlighters, but for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna do it today. Looks like that. And it's pigmented. It's pigmented. Actually, I'm gonna take that same snow day, yes, and also put that under my brow because why not? Because we can't. Oh my god, look at that. My partner is gonna hate this. 
Look at that glow, though. And once that is complete, I kind of want to put a little bit on my nose. Oh my god, I'm feeling so snatched. Alright, what else do I want to do? Do I want to do a little bit on my lips? Might as well. Ooh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my Bretman Rock slash Morphe Highlighting Palette. This is Babes in Paradise. Oh my god, wait till you see this thing. Boop. And a boop. I'm going to take the shade called Bait Bait Girl and just apply some more. All right, I think that's it, because you all know I don't wear lipstick. It's not for me. But, is there anything else I want to do? I think that's everything. Let me know how you guys like my trans-inspired makeup look. This is my finished masterpiece. Started with a blank canvas, ended with Picasso. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a comment, like, and subscribe down below. Until next time, stay foxy.